Hey, so it's Amy. I'm back again. There are some complaints to my last video about the seat harness attachment point that I wasn't in a proper frogging chest harness, so I pulled out my own, my old webbing harness, and um, personally I prefer the bungee um, for two reasons. One, it, it pulls up the curl better for me, and two, the, the frog won't have to tension it up so much it actually starts compressing my chest cavity quite a bit, and it's because of the boobs. So, um, <laughs> anyway, um, right now it's not really tensioned, but I'm just going to show again how much, you know, I want to fall over backwards in it. It's probably kind of hard to see from that, but, oh, I think I can swing the other, get twisted a bit here. There we go. You can see how I want to fall back in this chest harness, and if I didn't have this, I'd be going completely inverted. So, um, let me snug this down. Anyway, that's, that's about as snug as I can comfortably make it without starting to compress organs and stuff. So uh, we'll go with that. And you can see how, you know, even though I have, you know, foot loops are tuned for me, and I can stand up pretty much. I actually can't kick my legs all the way straight because of how I fall back from the rope. Even though I'm just holding myself in, that's about as straight as I can get standing. If I want to stand straight, get sideways here a bit. Alright, you can see how to stand straight I'm still falling back from the rope. That's how my body naturally wants to go. It doesn't matter how tight I get this unless, you know, I'm going to try to tension it down some more here. But you can see how tight that is. And it's really supporting my upper body, but it just, because of the physics of how the seat harness holds my weight and where my body's distributed, I mean, I can take a nice big stroke and stand straight up, but to stand straight, I have to kick my feet out. You know, if I kick them back, I'm kind of pointed down, and that actually puts a lot of awkward torque on my hips. So, um, you know, can I climb this way? Sure. Is it efficient or comfortable in any manner, to say the least? No. So, you know, I can bring my feet all the way up here, or under my butt, or up in front, or whatever I prefer doing. You can see when I stand up, I can stand up, but stand up straight, that's my straight standing in the seat harness because of how it's holding my weight. I'm falling back from the rope, and I can hold myself up to the rope. It takes a lot of energy and strength in my arm. See, I'm not pulling up with my hands. I'm just holding it. Ugh. And it takes really a bunch of energy to do. So, that's, that's, this is the low, the low attachment point seat harness that has the low rise. Not even an inch there. So, now we'll put on the other harness and show you just how much easier it is. Alright, so now I'm back. This is my high rise seat harness. You can see I have three inches here, instead of it being really short. Notice how it comes up and supports my back. I'm relaxed. My chest harness very flat. And this is how I'm sitting. So if you think about it, you know, in terms of physics a little bit, you know, if you're trying to stand up from a sitting position, versus standing straight up from a lying down position, this is going to be much easier, less effort, less wasted energy. So, actually, I can almost frog without needing to tighten this up, but just for the sake of the video, tighten this down. Just toss that out of the way. Okay. So I take a big bite. I'm standing, see how much better I'm standing up. I'm actually standing up in my seat harness. And again, you know, the pressure I'm putting on it is just, you know, I can open palm it. See how I'm just standing up much better? It's much less effort, much easier to do. And if you feel that this is too long, I have an adjustable, can shorten that a bit. So it's more adjusted for that three inches, I basically just pulled that three inches out of there. And see, my fenders still don't run into each other. I'm getting the same bite of a step pretty much. It's just much, much less effort, much easier. So, anyway, like I said, I mean, the chest furnace isn't even holding me up. It doesn't need to. I'm not falling backwards. So this is especially good if you're top heavy, if you have 
you know, chest, which maybe doesn't make you top heavy, but it gets in the way and it pulls you back from the rope, maybe your barrel chest or a bigger belly. Any of these situations, if you want something, you know, like a frog system for in case stuff or the shorter drops, you'll probably maybe want to check this out because you're going to be a lot more comfortable in it and it'll expend a lot less energy to get up the rope. So, I mean, the frog system, the little attachment point is a great idea if you have, you know, a typical frog or body type, you know, the tall, lanky man. And he was basically designed by and for that sort of body type, so of course it's going to work very well for that. Oh, and uh, one thing that I forgot to mention too is it, it's not just the ride here. I mean, this is, you can't just put your, you know, your, your curl on a bean or a lanyard and bring it up. The point of this, you know, high rise brings your waist belt way up high. It's not sitting down low, almost falling off your hips. It's actually, you know, up supporting your back. It's, it's in the middle of the back up here, supporting it nice. So I'm staying right up to the rope with, without any effort involved. And so, because you're standing up right too, like I said, it's much more comfortable to actually stand up. Because, you know, I can stay standing like this if I'm holding, you know, I'm just palming the rope. Um, in that sort of position, you can stand. And the other one, if you're trying to fall backwards, even if you have this chest harness like I showed, which is which was tightened up so much it was crushing, starting to crush my um, chest cavity, which starts to engage internal organs, which isn't a good thing. It was actually a little too tight in the last video. And that just has to do with, with body mechanics. And so that is one reason, like I said, that I do prefer the bungee to move the curl up because for my body mechanics, it doesn't have this crushing chest harness on there. It's a lot more comfortable. And if you're staying upright in a good position, you don't need this to hold you up. That's kind of the whole point. Work with your body, not against it. And you'll find your life a lot more easier and more comfortable on ropes.